Hi everyone, um, my name is Candy and I am the owner of Candy Sweet Treats and this might look uncomfortable but I'm actually going to teach you how to actually make one of uh, these t-shirt, t-shirt like necklaces out of old t-shirts. <laughs> like I actually went through all my clothes and I found a lot of t-shirts that I just needed to like get rid of. So I um, decided, ooh, let's make a t-shirt necklace. It's going to be great for Christmas and everything. And then I actually have one of these uh, flower hair clips that I, or pins, I used to make these and try and sell them on Etsy and they didn't do so well. And what you could do is, you know, you can make this or, or get a pin or something that you can find and bam, now you've got a flowered necklace. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be like an easy version. Uh, hopefully a fast one. Uh, a lot of people can either a like take apart the uh, long trails of uh, trails of the t-shirt and sew them so you can have a longer version and then a shorter one. Uh, you could bedazzle it, glue glitter on there, um, whatever you can think of. Uh, the sky's the limit. You can make them into headbands, bracelets, shoelaces. Mm, I don't know. Uh, if you can do that, that's great. Okay. So, anyways, I have two shirts that I've decided I want to do, right? Okay, I guess I have to scoot backwards just a little bit so you can see this. Um, and then I have one of my great flower hair clips, which this one is not really a flower. It is uh, my Andy Warhol inspired one with the banana. Okay, anyways, so I have this red, or red one, oh, <laughs> this pink one right here. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to cut, all you need is the scissors, oh I forgot scissors. Um, cut this edge right here, that's going to be like your last edge. I haven't decided what I want to do with those. And then I am just going to tear it, tear, 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 until I get to the last part because sometimes that doesn't want to tear. Depends on the shirt, some of them are easy tearers. And then I just put this aside because I figure one day I'm going to do something with this anyways. It actually works if you want it uh, kind of fray-like. So, okay. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut another one. But you could do this a little bit thicker. It'll probably help out for your first time. So I'm going to do about like almost two inches thick. Okay. Did you see that? Here is the shirt, right? and there's the cut it's about two inches thick and what you want to do when you rip this is you want to um, do it very slowly because you want to keep this all the same if you do it fast it's not going to go all the same so okay rip 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 we're ripping okay we're still doing this guys and normally like with other t-shirts not this one. They actually curl under. So this one might be too thick, but it's okay. I can use this. And then once you get to the end where that uh, the stitching is, you're going to want to cut it. And cut. And now you have one. See, as you can tell, like this is way too thick, but it actually can work. Um, and it's super long. So uh, you could... You could actually uh, leave it this length and then add another one, like I'm going to cut this gray one. Um, or you could double it, like over, and now you've got two and it's shorter. Ooh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right now I'm going to leave it at that two length. Okay, next is the gray shirt. And I know everyone's going to love it because it says love, but I don't fit it anymore. I've gotten a little fat. <laughs> um, and back in the day I used to like a lot of things super tight. Uh, and now I don't really need it to be that tight. So I'm trying not to show boobies either whenever I bend over. So okay, now we're cutting it. Do you see what I did? I just cut off that edge. And now we have a gray edge and a pink edge, which actually could work for something as well. 
Maybe I'll make this into a bracelet or uh, something great. Something great. See, this one's already curling. Like, this is a good one because it's uh, curling at the edge. So, okay. This one I'm going to do about an inch. You don't want to get out anything smaller than that because it's just going to, um, it's going to come out wrong. So, and this one decided that it was going to come out just a little wrong right there. Okay. So I kind of want to make sure that the edges here are kind of lined up. Okay. And then when I cut this, I'm going to cut this right right about here because this part right here is a little bit longer it should be like right there so I cut it there ah oh, cut it there okay do you see that and now we're gonna pull and rip hey if you have any anger issues this might be a good like thing to get rid of your anger issues I'm just doing it very slowly um because I don't want this one decided to rip all awkward, so uh, I don't want it to like rip off. I want it to rip and still be able to use it. You know, what's great about how-to videos when you can't make a proper how-to because your stuff decides not to work. Okay, but this one decided to work. So we've got one, another one, and as you can tell, this part turned out amazing. And then this part got really, really long. So you could always go through, cut off a little if you want, like here, and then just start ripping again, right? Well, since I started this, we're just gonna continue ripping because I can't get enough of ripping stuff, right? Maybe I just have awkward shirts. Okay, so we've got one. This is almost perfect. I'm going to twist it just like this. Find my other one that I just got done twisting. Okay, I'm gonna put the ends together. Do you see that? And sometimes you could always go, well, you know, I'm gonna leave them long. Twist like this so that they can be all meshed together. And you could do as many like t-shirts as you want together. This is just easier. And I am actually, you can either take like a, you're going to have scraps, and then come on over like this, and you're just going to tie. Whoa, tie, you don't have to hot glue, you don't have to sew, some people like to sew. Like, I think my next ones that I make, I'm actually going to sew them, only because um, I want to make some that are a little bit longer, so I'm just going to cut those bastards. Are we allowed to say that? I don't know. If this gets deleted it's because of that word, I'll just have to bleep it out. If anyone gets offended by it, just tell me. And I'm actually going to do a tiny little tie here. Oh, so, and look, do you see that white thing? That's going to have to go. And that's easy. You could just cut it off. Okay, so as you can tell, I just wrap that around, right? And now you have a necklace. Now, most of the time when you do this wrapping here and you wear this necklace, around you're going to have this part most of the time at the end let me okay we'll be chat let's get you up to my level Woo okay so sorry for the lights okay so right now we got done making this great necklace here and it could become a great um christmas present and look you could also put a cute little flower hair clip or pin if you have one. And bam, now you've got something that's rocking. The great thing about this is the t-shirts are actually very warm. So um, when you're wearing it around your neck in this holiday season and it's freezing cold, um, it actually kind of makes your neck a little warm. And I prefer my neck warm. So if you have any questions, you know, uh, put in a comment. I will try and answer them as ma easily fastly as I can and uh, don't go and buy these for like 20 bucks because you can make them yourself if you have any spare clothing and uh, Merry Christmas because soon it's going to be Christmas and soon I'll be deployed so 
I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Uh, bye. Hi, everyone.